What happens when you have two citations together? How can you put them together? You need to put them in an order. That order is alphabetical order. If you have multiple authors and you just use their name, what if you have the same author but different papers in different years? Let me go over that again. One case is you have an idea, you write the idea, and this idea is not one person's idea, but many other people have researched this. So you've taken it from multiple papers, so you have multiple different authors from different papers. How do you put them together? By alphabetical order of the first author's name. Right? What happens when you have one author that has many papers from different years and now you put them together in one citation. How do you order them? You order them by year, by the date. Let's take a look at an example. So here we have training materials are available, Department of Veterans Affairs. Now this is not a person, but when we don't have a person, sometimes we can use the name of the organization. So this organization is Department of Veteran Affairs, comma, 2001, comma, 2003. That means we have two papers. One paper, two paper. We have two research papers that we've drawn from and we're going to use a comma and in, in year order, by year. 2001, the earliest year. 2003, the later year. So you order it by the year. How about this example here? Past research. Gogol, 1990, 2006 in press. So now we have three papers. One, two, three. And we order them by the earliest date first. 1990, 2006 in press means it's at the publishers, but it's not finished yet. Same author, same date. What are we going to do then? This has actually happened sometimes. So here we have an author. Dewberry and Reed. Remember we use the ampersand here because it's inside the parentheses. Derryberry, <laughs> Derryberry, what an interesting name, and Reed. 2005, 2005. That is the same year. Those are the same authors. How can we put them together and the reader can actually find this? Well, we're going to use letter A and letter B. So this means that this paper is going to be the A paper, the second paper is going to be the B paper. In our reference list then, we need to specify A and B also, next to the, next to the date also. So this is just a way to clarify them here and in our reference.